Welcome back to Subtech Ages with Dan Bear Pig. Last episode, I gathered the bees that you see behind me here, and we learned that there is at least one thing that vanilla Minecraft does a whole lot better than modded, and that is bees. Because to our disappointment, we learned that these are only items and not actual mobs. So this farm is coming along quite nicely. You can see that I have finished planting all of the hemp. I've got the full cotton and the full wheat. And I've got my potatoes, my carrots, an attempt at barley, and coffee. But the main feature of this episode, I am almost done with the advancements table for age one. But as I've stated previously, I am intending to make a complete base for each age. So I'm not quite done with age one yet, even if the advancements table says that I'm very close. So this isn't going to be a major advancement heavy episode, although I might go to the beneath and search for some aquamarine and get some more uh, black quartz and see if I can maybe upgrade my armor. Having completed so much of the advancements table means that I have access to quite a few building materials and I think it is finally time for this little outline here to at least start becoming a house. I don't know if I'll be able to complete a house in this episode, but I will at least start one. And let me tell you, I am stepping way outside my comfort zone on this. The workshop behind me, it's pretty good, but I'm going to be using some materials that I have never built with before and attempting a house better than I have ever built before, even in vanilla Minecraft. And I've been spending some time off camera looking at my options, and they're pretty daunting. I've got four full pages of items here. Not all of them I actually have access to. I shouldn't actually be seeing some of these, but there are a lot of really cool options. And I think I have the start of a really nice building palette. Let's take a look over here. So this is what I'm thinking of, and I found some reference Im images online, and I'm not going to share them yet. I might not share them at all, we'll see. But um, I'm not entirely sure that this matches. I'm going to look through my wood and see if I can find something a little bit less saturated to match this. But this, clay wall, this is what I'm really excited about. I can do some, you know, false half timbering. And I think this limestone is my best bet to go along with it. I'm not 100% uh, committed to this palette. This is, this is my idea. And I anticipate that as I build, I will probably change my mind about several things. So here we have something interesting though. But let's take one tin plate and I think just a stick. And if I place them this way, chisel. That's right, we're going to be getting into chisel and bits today. I have never once even looked up how to use this mod. So I've seen a little bit of it in other people's videos, but I have never used it myself. And uh, part of the reason is that I fear that once I start, this is going to get really immersive and uh, really addicting. So, and very time consuming. But we're not going to get into the really, uh, really deep chisel and bit stuff yet. Here's what we're going to start with. Look at all of these options. What is this? This is 27 different options. But I think I'm going to look for Arrayed bricks, that's promising. Wide bricks, I like that. Cracked, weathered bricks. I might use a combination of some of these. So let's start with weathered bricks. Oh, I didn't mean to do the whole thing, but I think that's okay. Yes, I can swap between as many of these as I want. So let's put one of these here. We'll do cracked bricks, wide bricks, arrayed bricks, small bricks, and oh, here's what I was really looking for, trodden bricks. Let's do a few of these. I really like this, but I haven't seen it full size in the world yet. So let's place them over here and see how they look. Hmm, not, that doesn't look as good as I was hoping. Maybe that looks better as a path. All right, but let's look at some of these others. So they don't work very well together, it looks like. There are a lot of these seams. These ones, not so bad. So cracked and weathered bricks could work well together. Wide bricks, 
Some of these other bricks, though, not so much. And let's see how the andesite looks as that as well. Okay. Yeah, I think I like the texture better on the diorite. Don't tell this gal. Those look real nice, but uh, I think... I think that's going to go better with this, although this might be too yellow. Okay, I could stand here all day debating what to do with these blocks, which ones to use. So the only thing for that is to start building. But before I do that, I think it's time to uh, replace this wolf helmet of mine. And uh, perhaps even this uh, cool uh, bronze armor that I'm wearing. Or is this copper? Yes, copper armor with a little bit of an upgrade. And for that, I'm going to need to head back to the beneath and get some more black quartz and uh, put this windmill of ours to use, grinding it up. And while I'm there, I might as well hunt for some aquamarine as well. Okay, I am just about geared up. I've got some extra tools. I've replaced my armor with a brand new set. And I am going to be very conservative with my wild dog pelt boots because as you can see, they are about to wear out. I think I have what I need to craft a new pair, but uh, for now I'm going to go with the extra armor Actually, it looks like these actually offer more armor. Okay, well maybe I'll be crafting some more wild dog pelt boots instead. But I've also got my plumb line just in case. I never use it, so might as well give it a shot. Weak dowsing rod to see if I can find the ores I'm looking for. And I've crafted a whole bunch of steak dinners. Mm -mm -mm. But I want to try something real quick here. I want to see if I can upgrade these backpacks. So let's try, here we go. I think I start with this blank upgrade. There we go. And then I can add wood to it and it becomes a wooden storage upgrade. And then from there, I can create a stone storage upgrade. Oh, I need stone for that, obviously. All right, so how does this work? Uh, do I just put these here together? Or do I need to upgrade it to wood first? I think I need to upgrade it to wood first. So let's do this. And this is my last leather. I'm going to have to breed up those cows. Actually, I think I have a lot of uh, raw hide, so I think I can do more leather. Wooden storage upgrade. All right. And let's see, what does that do for us? Okay, two rows of inventory slots, three rows. Okay, cool. Next upgrade is stone, so let's do that. Four inventory slots. Okay, this is this is overpowered. <laughs> okay, next upgrade is iron. I have no idea what that is. I can't I can't discover that right now. This will be very handy in exploring the beneath. Last time to get to the bottom of the beneath where the quartz is, I dug way down to place the beneath teleporter, but this time I want to go up as high as I can. So let's try, let's see how high this is up here. Okay, so how high up are we here? Y139, okay, so I think this will probably do. We will find out, sheep. There we go. Beneath teleporter, just, you know, unceremoniously placed on top of a hill. And if I recall how to do this. Nope. Ah. Okay, <laughs> here we are. <laughs> and uh, we are on an exposed platform. I do not like that. I foolishly did not bring a lot of options for pillaring, but let's use these oak logs. Okay. Search the top of the caves for aquamarine ore. It doesn't say specifically where I'll find it. I think I think one of the books that I got has it, but whoa! Oh, it's dark. 
Dynamic lighting strikes again. I need to remember that even though it looks bright because of dynamic lighting in the shaders, it isn't actually bright. the dowsing rod say? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Aquamarine ore right above me. Okay. Hmm. That could be up to 48 blocks away, so I'm going to keep, keep making the stairway. And there's some right there. Look at that. Okay, here we go. This is the first aquamarine ore of this playthrough. DanburyPig82 has reached the goal to search for aquamarine. Advancement get. Oh, it's transparent. Whoa. That is trippy. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be that way if it's a shader glitch or what, but it sure is interesting because it's not just transparent. I can see through the stone behind it too. So let's just uh, chalk that up to this being a mystical ore with uh, special powers. I like that. There's an optimum Y level for this, only that it's at the top of the caves. But I think I want to get one stack of this before I go for the quartz. final stack, or this final pocket of aquamarine, will give us more than one stack. And there's our stack of aquamarine. I have no idea how much of this I'm going to end up needing, but, you know, I like to be prepared. Get as much done in one trip as I can. A stack and 10. Excellent. All right, let's put that in the backpack. Yeah, look at that. If I had been wearing this when I met the silverfish, they'd be broken by now. All right, how perilous is it out here? Pretty, pretty perilous. So I'm going to dig into the side of the wall here and let's start digging downwards and let's get some more black quartz. Dang it. take care of this and uh, <laughs> find another way down. Okay, that was a successful trip couple of close calls with those silverfish, but overall, 
Not too bad. I only got half a stack of black quartz ore before I started really running out of space. Um, but just over a stack of aquamarine. And, you know, the real friends are the copper clusters inside us along the way. I also did a little bit more experimenting with these textures here. And uh, I made some white concrete powder. Interestingly enough, this is the first block of concrete powder I have ever placed in Minecraft, not even in vanilla. And that is too white, so I think limestone, unless I can find something else, I think limestone is the way to go with these clay walls. Let me show you one more thing that I have discovered. I do not have to have these blocks in my inventory to use the chisel. I can just left click and cycle through all of the different options. Look at that. Wide bricks look pretty good. Uh, these arrayed bricks are nice though, so do I have that here? Yes. Okay. I think... Yeah, these ones are a little bit too thin for the look that I'm going for. They do look nice though, so I think I'm going to have some fun with this. On that note, I am going to get some sleep so that we can start the next day. And then I am going to start building, and let's see what we end up with. I think it's time for time-lapse mode. hours of work and several real life days later, there it is. It's definitely not even close to done, but it's a lot farther along than I expected if I'm going to be honest with you. I've only got the front really fleshed out, and you might notice I am not using those fancy clay blocks that I was so excited about. If you caught it in the time lapse, I started putting them in and it just looked like too much of a grid. Unfortunately, there isn't one that uh, matches that color that does not have the, uh, the timbering in it, so it doesn't quite work. Which is unfortunate, but I managed to make this molding out of spruce, and I think that looks fantastic. And I've got these brick ledges and painted wood. Now this is something that I really wish we could do in Vanilla Minecraft, is simply paint wood. That would be really great. Let's go ahead and go inside. Um, there's going to be more detailing, of course. This is just the uh, just the structure here and a little bit of detail. And uh, I also, if you were watching closely, I reduced the footprint of this house significantly. I had decided on a scale and uh, laid out the uh, 
you know, rough end of the foundation, and it turned out that that's just way too big, and uh, it just felt entirely too spacious and not cozy enough, and this is still plenty big. And I've started on a second floor here, and uh, a test of a staircase. This is probably where I'll have it. Uh, this is not finalized. We'll see what happens here. And unfortunately, I can't yet make glass, so these windows are going to have to stay open for now. I experimented with some various, you know, fences and bars, and I just, I just don't like it. I don't want to ruin the aesthetic that way, so I'm going to leave them open, and later when I invent glass, I will bring that in and uh, make that work. But what I'm most proud of is this roof. That is a lot of slate, and... Uh, <laughs> I had kind of, I had an encounter while mining for all that slate. Guys, this, uh, this might be the end of me. I was mining for more slate for my roof, just mining my own business, and I heard a growl, and this guy came out of that ravine. Magma Monster. Uh, I can run for it. Or... Ah! Oh, he shoots. Oh, he shoots flames. Okay. That wasn't so bad. Um... <laughs> Whoa, he, he set a bat on fire. Mm -mm. Cooked bat meat yum. Okay, well... <laughs> that was new. Mishaps aside, this went off uh, pretty much without a hitch, and going based on the uh, reference images I was using, this is definitely the best roof I have ever made, and I, I just can't say enough that uh, I'm very pleased with how it turned out. The back, definitely very unfinished. So I'm going to have to come up with a back porch, and I'm going to do that off camera here. While working on this Minecraft house, I was also remodeling my real-life basement, and I have come to a new appreciation of bricks and the absurd scale of Minecraft. It's easy to forget that these are meter thick walls. That is really, really thick, especially for a wall. I took down a four by about two and a quarter meters brick wall that was really ugly in my basement that we're going to replace. And uh, my brother and I hauled it all to my garage and we tried to make one single minecraft sized block of bricks and we didn't quite make it we got about a slab and a half not even that much brick so let's leave the house for now and go to the windmill i managed to grind up all the black quartz into crushed black quartz but while i was mining for slate something happened you might notice it's really quiet in here. That's because one of the gearboxes is broken. There was a storm while I was mining, and it broke one of the gearboxes. Uh, let's see. Not that one. That one's fine. That one there. Okay, so that, that gearbox that is connected to the windmill. That one is broken, so we need to fix it. And for that, I need a couple of gears. And thanks to this water-powered sawmill, which did not break in the storm, gears are incredibly easy to make. Two wooden gears. <laughs> it's just floating there. Boop. 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 I 
think I think that did it. Let's hurry in. Yeah. Here's the noisy workplace we all know and love. I forgot I need to smelt up the black quartz. Alright, that should be enough. Alright, so let's make some new tools. First we have a sword. Pick. Axe. Shovel. And hoe. And now we can do something truly hilarious. The black quartz all in one tool. I uh, can't help but read that as axolotl. But here we go. An absolutely ridiculous it really is an all-in-one tool. This serves as sword, axe, pickaxe, hoe, and shovel all in one. And uh, it's got a durability of 1120, while these have a durability of 500. So honestly, as much as this saves a few inventory slots and is completely hilarious, it's not really very economical. I just wanted to make one. Uh, plus, it's kind of fun to have all of this this entire toolkit, honestly. Uh, I know that would annoy a lot of people, but for me, I really like it. So I'm going to use this after I use up these tools here and have some fun with that. But uh, overall, I'm going to stick with bronze until I can discover something better <laughs> that uh, won't require me going over and over to the beneath just to get more black quartz. All right, so that's going to do it for me today. Thank you for being patient with the uh, very long gap between episodes. I wish I could entirely blame that on real life stuff, but honestly, I also got a little bit re-addicted to Risk of Rain 2, and that took up uh, more time than I'm going to admit. But, looking behind me, I got a lot done, and I am very pleased with this progress, and I am going to keep working on this off camera, and uh, we'll see what we end up with. And uh, if you want to make sure to catch the next one, be sure to subscribe, like this episode, and leave me a comment. Let me know how you like this house and if you have any recommendations or suggestions. Meanwhile, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.